of fear, anxiety, anticipation, and all the rest of those related synonyms. And yet, on the other side of the coin, they themselves are driven by fear that we might become out of control. And wake up. Right. And that's what they're trying to prevent. The, and, and that's essentially a, a spiritual condition. The mind control issue was first and foremost a spiritual issue. It, its foundation is spiritual. They, the mind is the gateway to the soul. That's why the mind control issue. And we, in mass, humanity is at the threshold of an awakening that they seek to prevent. Because if people wake up, the wake up means uh, come into an awareness, a spiritual a realization. Because that's the only thing that's going to solve the problems that we face. Uh, they're, they're just very so basic and fundamental. We're not going to fix things with band-aid measures, trying to tinker here and there and fix the economy. You're not going to fix the economy without attending to the issue of uh, honest weights and measures and, and, and honest uh, uh, medium of, of exchange as the uh, lifeblood of, uh, of commerce. Uh, the dishonest money system has corrupted all segments of society, including organized religion, which is part of the problem. This is a, 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 the mind control issue, is a spiritual issue. And the fundamental problem for mankind is that we have been encouraged to misidentify ourselves as the physical body. And when people do that, then they become fearful because the body is subject to death. And by keeping people afraid and, and stressed out uh, and great anxiety, for long periods of time is a strategy of, of psychological warfare because then people can't think clearly. Right. Add to this the manipulation of economic factors and you have a twin pencil movement where the population is literally being squeezed. So the nation is suffering from the effects of a scientifically induced nervous breakdown. That's what we're seeing all around us. We are the first media generation that caused a, a psychological standardization that later was fragmented and so that uh, different groups can be spoken to uh, individually and programmed individually. The real issue is a spiritual issue. And spiritual consciousness is the only solution to the problems and suffering of material existence. And it's on that platform where we have our power because it requires us to look within for the answer, and that's the only way we're going to find them. We've been conditioned to look outside of ourselves for the answers and to use our mind in an analytical way to, to think our way out of a problem. Right. Thinking got us into this. Mess. It and, sure did. And that the quality of our thinking has to change. We haven't been taught how to think. We've been taught what to no. think. And yeah. God forbid that we've learned how to think because that's what these guys are are afraid of. Uh, there are more of us than there are of them, and the only way can, they can control and, and manipulate the large masses is through illusion and deception. And they it's like the, the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain. Exactly. And the cultivation of, of this anxiety and fear is astoundingly profitable. Look at the psychopharmacological maniacs at work coming up with these fluoride-based drugs, SSRIs, all kinds of psychotropic medications, which literally, if the television and the lifestyle and the peer pressure and the media and the self-absorption and the narcissism of the physical body doesn't do it, these drugs will. And they'll seal the individual uh, permanently into a, a crypt of morose behavior and absolute obedience to a paradigm that is antithetical to human life as it used to be.